What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is the King Koopa. Thank you for stopping by. I'm excited to show you this video. We finally found us a work truck, a tow rig. I'm super excited. We've been looking for a 3500 dually for quite a long time now, like probably close to a year. I actually gave up for a couple of months. Everything was super overpriced out of my budget for what I was wanting to spend or they were super rusty. So I wanted to tell you it is gas before you get any farther. It's not a diesel. If any of you guys are new to the channel, I am an LS guy. Yeah, let me let me just show you. The 04 truck, that's a LQ960. The Corvette is an LS1 5.7. Trailblazer SS back there is an LS260. And over here, the shop's super dirty, but we have the old 4.8 that came out of the black truck. That is going into our Project Corvette um, on Monday. So on Monday, we're dropping the truck off to get paint. Previous owner put a big old gash in the roof from one of those garage door openers that he jacked it up into. Plus there's some dents in there. So truck's gonna be gone for paint. So we're getting that Project Corvette over here and we're gonna start reassembling that with the 4.8 motor. This is the LS1 that came out of it. So we're gonna be swapping the heads over, swapping the oil pan over, um, all the car, you know, water pump accessories. That's gonna go on this 4.8 and then we are going to turbo it. So I'm super excited for that because we don't have any turbo cars. I did have one turbo car in my life and it was a 2002 Volkswagen Beetle two liter turbo and we bought it for like 800 bucks and that was probably like one of the funnest cars i've ever had we never like titled it never played it just like beat the crap out of it in the yard and ripped it down the street a few times and uh that thing took some abuse it was a five speed i think and that thing was so much fun but anywho so we we dealt with nitrous on the truck we realized nitrous is not for us so we're gonna go turbo so we're turboing this and we're gonna learn all about it and probably in a year or two maybe I just want to drive the truck, but we're going to twin turbo the truck. So we're going to learn the process of it, what to do, what not to do on this motor. So stay tuned for that. Super excited. We also have a 60LQ9 in the corner. And over here, we also have a LH6. It's an aluminum block 5.3 with Gen 4 internals. So you could say I'm a little bit of an LS guy. This truck, so now that you finally get to see it, um, it's a 2003 Chevy Silverado 3500. It's a two-wheel drive. It is a dually. It has the 60LQ4. Um, the LQ4, if you're unfamiliar with 6.0s, it has the dish pistons in it, so it makes just a little bit less power than the LQ9. The LQ9 has flat top pistons, so it makes a little bit more power from the factory, but not a big deal. It does have the 4L80 in it, and uh, it's a big girl. It has a 12-foot flatbed on there, but it should serve us really well. It has 109,000 miles, and it had a little bit of issues when we bought it, but other than that, not too bad. Yes, I could have bought a Duramax, you know, an LBZ would be ideal, but they're like two to three times the cost of what we paid for this truck. I know a decent amount about Duramaxes, but I don't know a whole lot, and I really don't want to learn about it right now. Plus, um, we were on a budget when we bought this truck, so we got it for a really good deal. First thing you may notice when we pop the hood is the inside is white. So this truck was repainted at some point in time. It was owned by uh, an asphalt coating company. You might be able to see the phone number still etched into the side um, of the blue paint. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. It is a little dirty. It had an oil pan leak, a hydro boost leak, um, small exhaust leak, and the interior is absolutely nasty. So they did not take care of this thing at all. They got asphalt all over it, and it is super dirty. There's ashes in the seat, you know, tears in the seat. The driver's seat's almost completely gone. Um, they have all their inspection stickers stuck all over the windshield headliners falling apart you know it's definitely a work truck that's for sure i'll put up a picture now of what it used to look like um, it did have a big ladder rack above had the diesel transfer tank mounted on there and it did have this huge like cubicle box mounted on the back corner that they used to store all their asphalting tools and that thing took us like three hours to get it off it took the wife and i three hours because it was like asphalted to the bed so that took forever but on the positive side, check out the frame. So the frame for Indiana standards, it's actually not bad at all. And the rockers are intact. Everything looks pretty good. So the interior is probably the worst part, but uh, Friday, the wife and I are gonna go to the junkyard and we're pretty much gonna go grab an entire interior out of a donor truck, swap that in. So let me know if you want to see an interior video of us revitalizing it, making it look nice. Let's give her a little start though. Starts right up. Oh. 
Sounds like a pulley's going out on it. So it's really not too bad. The main issues with it were the exhaust leak, the oil pan leak, hydro boost leak. Um, just, you know, it really needs a tune up. Sometimes when you come to a stop, it stalls. So I think we gotta clean the throttle body. As you could hear when it was just started up, that pulley on there started screeching. So it definitely needs a little TLC. It has sat for the last like two years. Um, the last oil change was in 2002. So the oil had like 8,000 miles on it. We cut the oil filter apart after we changed it all. Everything looked great. So no gold flakes in there. So that's a great sign. So let's talk about buying this truck. <laughs> this was ridiculous. This is probably like one of the most difficult vehicle buys that I've had to do in quite a while. So from start to finish, it took us almost a month to purchase this truck. We messaged the guy on Facebook, everything looked great, asked him all the questions, you know, clean title in hand. He said, yep. I was like, all right, cool. So it's about two and a half hours away, south side of Indy, drove all the way down there. As soon as we get there, the first thing he says is, oh, so the way, about the title. I was like, wait, what? What do you mean about the title? It's uh, still in the previous owner's name. It's an Illinois out-of-state title, and he bought the truck like a year and a half or two years ago. It's like, are you serious, dude? Like, we did all this, wasted all of our time to come here, down here just for you to tell us that. This dude's like a little older than me. His dad was there, his buddy was there. And I was like, you guys didn't tell him how to sell a vehicle, <laughs> you know? So we actually, he didn't know what to do. He was like, oh, you know, it's an out-of-state vehicle. You gotta have a cop come inspect it. He said he didn't want the cops snooping around his house. And it's like, what? It's like, what are you doing out here that you're worried about cops? Anywho, not, not a big deal. So we had to call the BMV for him to figure out what he had to do so he could sell it to us. Long story short, he had to go switch it into his name, told him to expedite it. He got the title within like a week. I was like, okay, cool, great. So I was like, all right, let's find a meetup time. And uh, we had a agreed upon price. Agre wow. Agreed upon price. And he's like, oh, hey, by the way, it was like 600 extra bucks and late fees and titling and everything. So my price just went up. And it's like, are you serious, dude? We had a price and you just raised it because the interest, the interest, the registration and everything, like you would have had to have paid it anyways. And uh, I was like, I was like, I'm firm at the price that we had. And uh, he's like, well, I have someone else who's interested in it from a construction company. They want to utilize the diesel transfer tank. So I want to sell it to them. It's like, okay, dude, go for it. You know, this truck was for sale for almost five months. And this is the first time they figured out the title issue. So obviously no one was seriously interested in it those first five months or else they would have figured the title issue out. Two weeks later, you know, he messages me and he's like, hey, so my family's on vacation. It's going to be hard for me to find a ride. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, dude, so like, did you sell the truck? Are you not selling the truck? What's going on? And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm selling the truck and uh, just let me know when I can meet you. I just need to find a ride. And it's like, okay, fine. You know, it's like, I'm still doing on the price that we agreed upon. He's like, yep, that's fine. Long story short, a lot of drama just to get this truck took a lot of weeks and we finally got it and uh, I think everything turned out pretty well and then on top of that though called the insurance company and the insurance company won't even insure it for personal insurance they said because it has a flatbed um, and it's a dually that it has to be commercial insurance it's like are you kidding me so it's just a lot of hoops and hurdles to jump over just to get this truck which is what we have wanted for so long that we finally got it and we we're just running into more issues um, which is crazy because it's a little mom and pop insurance company, so it's not a big name brand. And uh, like my parents use them. My dad had a F450 Super Duty Dually diesel flatbed with a crane on it, and he had personal insurance on it through them. So it's like, whatever. So we'll we'll figure it out. But it is what it is, you know. It's uh, buying a used vehicle. Sometimes it can be a little difficult, but we got it all figured out. So the plans for this truck, um, I'm not exactly too sure yet, but we are obviously going to put the King Koopa Touch on it. We're not going to turn this into a crazy money pit, but definitely some headlights, taillights, tint the windows. We might get rid of these big um, elephant ear mirrors on there, go with some nicer tow mirrors, and then um, I guess, you know, silicone all these bolt holes closed or something like that. Not exactly too sure what we're going to do with those just yet. Um, I would like to, my idea was to line X the bed and line X the whole cab black to obviously to match my theme I got going black, black. And some more black. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to see what the wife says. Because the wife and I, this is kind of our truck that we bought together. She wants to put like graffiti all over it and put like the King Koopa down the side. Um, so it kind of advertises for us whenever we tow any of our vehicles anywhere. Or like um, if we tow the truck to a show or something like that. Um, but uh, I told her she can do whatever she wants with it. This is kind of our, our little beater truck. So if anything happens to it, you know, it's got some scratches and dents and dings on it. So... 
whatever happens, you know. They definitely did not treat this truck very well. And I think we might like replace this glass. This glass has a bunch of asphalt chunks on it. Some of it scratched it and damaged the glass, but we'll see. Other than that though, um, I think it just needs a little bit of a tune-up and it'll be a good, good running truck for us. I really, I really wanted a Bradford built bed with like the side skirted. Those things look super, super nice, but um, I don't think that'll happen just because um, the price of those beds are more than what we paid for this whole truck. <laughs> so that's, uh, they're a little bit ridiculous, but super fancy. Um, at some point in time, we're going to switch the wheels and tires out. We might do some like 22.5 Alcoas. Um, I don't know if I want to do semi tires or if I want to do like 35 inch tires on it or just something to make it look nice and neat because with this long bed, this thing does not look proportional at all. It's a 12 foot bed on there with a single cab, so this thing just looks super, super long. So we'll see. I might build us some like 2x12 sideboards just to try to dress it up just a little bit, stain them maybe. I'm not exactly too sure what we're going to do with it just yet. The hood does have a pretty big dent right here in it, so I think it would be cool if we got a 2 inch cowl hood, just like we got on the truck here, and swap it to HD. If we could find one on Marketplace, that would be great. We definitely have a couple things planned for the tow rig. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know of uh, what you think about it, what you think we should do with it. Uh, a couple of people told me not to line exit, um, that it's not the best idea. Um, I thought about Raptor liner, um, so I'm not too sure just yet on what we're going to do. I think we got a good direction on it, so give us a week or two and this truck will look completely different. I mean, it already looks different since we took all the stuff off the bed. looks more like a, a truck instead of a, just a complete work truck, but... Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate all you guys' support. Um, we're going to do another video dropping the truck off for paint, um, bringing the Project Corvette over here. I don't know if I want to do one of assembling the motor or not, just because there's so many of those videos out there. But uh, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate all your guys' views, your likes, your subscribes, everything. It's uh, definitely helping the channel out and uh, allow us to help build some more trucks like these. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if there's anything you think about the new tow rig. And uh, I'll catch you in next week's video. Peace.